Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome to a new Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video, it is currently January 14th, 2021, meaning that it is the 10th anniversary of Ninjago, which to me is just insane. Ninjago is a thing that I hold very near and dear to my heart. Ninjago, I have been with since the first episode aired. Uh, I've been here since day one. January 14th, 2011 was when the first Ninjago pilot episode aired and I remember watching it way back in the day. I still remember that day very vividly. I remember the day I first found out about Ninjago as well. I was reading a Lego Club magazine. I believe it was the November to December 2010 issue. Could have been the January 2011 issue as well. But I remember flipping through it and coming across Ninjago. They had little character profiles for every single ninja, which of course at the time there were only four ninja. Seems kind of crazy to think now. Um, but yeah, there were only four ninja at the time. And I just remember being super fixated on them. I wanted to see what Ninjago was all about. So I watched the first pilot episode when it came out on the 14th of January, 2011, and I was just kind of blown away by it. And obviously since I was so blown away by it, Ninjago has stuck with me ever since. I've been there for everything, which is something that I can't really say for a lot of other series and franchises that I'm a big fan of. For example, like Pokemon, I'm a big fan of Pokemon. I have not been there since day one. I wasn't even born when Pokemon first came out, but Ninjago Ninjago is a little different to me because Ninjago is something that I hold very dear to my heart and it's something that I've been with forever since it's begun. And to me, that just means a lot. It means that this is something that I will cherish forever. This isn't something that I'm ever going to go away from. And Ninjago has had its ups and downs, like don't get me wrong, but Ninjago is something that I will always be a really big fan of. Ninjago's helped me out with a lot of different stuff throughout my life. I've been collecting it ever since. I have a couple of sets from every single Ninjago wave. And to me, this isn't something that's just going to go away. This isn't like a phase. This isn't like a one-time thing where I just check out the episode and then, you know, move on. No, this is something that stuck with me. I can't really explain what it was that made me stick with Ninjago, but I've stuck with it ever since. Every single new season and new chapter of Ninjago that has come out has given me a reason to come back and appreciate it. And for that, I just need to thank Ninjago itself for everything that it's given me. Ninjago's gone a long way, and we've come a long way with it, especially with a lot of us fans that have grown up with the series. I mean, I've been here for 10 years now with these ninja, and they've never once given me a reason to leave. Never once have I thought, hey, you know what, maybe Ninjago just isn't for me anymore. You know, sure, we've had our ups and downs, as I said earlier, there's been some days where I wake up and Ninjago isn't the first thing on my mind and maybe I'll like something else a little more. And again, I've pretty much been there for everything and there's not really anything that's ever driven me away. Even when Ninjago was kind of canceled in 2013 and then it came back in 2014, that little gap of time there that we didn't have anything for the series, that never really, I guess, drew me away. I was always kind of invested and when I heard Ninjago was coming back and that it wasn't over and that more stuff was on the way, I was just really excited for it. It was something that I never really thought could be, I guess, uh, going Going on for that long like Ninjago was originally supposed to last only two years and the fact that we made it to 10 is just crazy. Of course Ninjago has been doing everything to promote the 10th anniversary. We have the new Ninjago City Garden set coming out which I am going to pick up because Ninjago means a lot to me no matter how stressed out I might be in my personal life or with uh, with making YouTube videos daily because that does get pretty difficult at sometimes. I know that Ninjago is always going to be there and I do need to appreciate Ninjago for that as well because without Ninjago I would not have a job on YouTube. Uh, YouTube is my current full-time job right now, and I only have the Ninja to thank for that. So uh, once again, big thank you to Ninjago, everyone that works on Ninjago, the staff, the voice actors, the writers, the community, everybody involved. Thank you very much. I'm really looking forward to what's going to be happening this year for Ninjago in season 14 and season 15, and I will forever cherish Ninjago as a concept, as a whole, and as a Lego theme, and pretty much just as something that I can appreciate for the remainder of my days. Thank you, Ninjago, for everything that you've done, and thank you guys here for watching this video and getting me to where I am. Uh, it, it's just crazy that we've made it to 10 years and I wanted to make a little uh, commemorative celebratory video, I guess giving my thoughts and giving my own opinions on Ninjago and just like saying what it means to me. As someone who's been here since day one, it's been a crazy ride and I hope that we get more in the future. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the next video.